a very short uh, crash course on uh, First Nations pouches. Uh, to, I'll go. I'll use today's terminology, and then I'll I'll explain what uh, the comparison that I have uh, for my ancestral uh, the, the things that they use purse or wallets, um, uh, purses, purses, uh, tote bags, uh, kit bag, uh, gym bag, um, overnight bag. Um, carry-on bags and so and suitcases, especially Samsonite suitcase. The line, I, I can, I can, uh, I, I can honestly show you. Uh, Five thousand years ago, we thought of them. You guys just put the name on them. In the days of old, my ancestors did not have uh, shirt pockets, pant pockets. Um, it would be kind of hard to have pant pockets when you're wearing a breech cloth and leggings. So uh, what they did was on their belts, which was made uh, also of animal skins, because their clothing were all animal skins, they had little pouches like this, maybe not this size, maybe a bit bigger, and uh, they would uh, use these as their carry-all, everything, whether it was... Uh, um, Here's another one here, uh, where the men would carry something like this uh, with uh, with their um, uh, uh, flint napping uh, kit in there, you know, uh, and the women would have probably a same size or maybe a same um, uh, purpose of uh, the pouch um, with their sewing kits because they had to have their sewing kits there. Uh, with them at all times, just in case one of the family had a moccasin blowout or something, so they had to have their sewing kits uh, uh, ready on hand. And uh, the some of the uh, food, uh, the materials that they used uh, uh, for their food containers, like we have um, coolers and... Um, um, oh, so many other uh, really fancy um, containers today and uh, uh, worth a pretty penny from time to time. In the days of old, my ancestors' coolers were similar to this uh, parfleche bag. And in, in this, it's just an animal hide. This is the, I always uh, try to um, work with uh, the levels of high tanning as a ladder. The rungs of the ladder are the textures of the animal skin, this being the lowest rung, uh, but this would uh, uh, hold uh, extra clothing, uh, food, berries, uh, roots, herbs, whatever they needed to store would be stored in something like this, uh, a parfleche bag uh, of the, not this size, they'd be yay by yay by about four six to six inches thick. So my ancestors had pouches and suitcases um, to go to today's Samsonite line of Samsonite um, luggage and then to go back in, in the, to the days of old, my ancestors would use um, buffalo stomachs, uh, even elk stomachs, even deer stomachs, because of the way that the, 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 the organs were, they were able to uh, the, clean them, turn them inside out, clean them so, uh, where they didn't even have an odor anymore. That secret, left with them. I have no clue how uh, I could make a, a animal skin smell as good as um, um, a pouch like this, especially it's just a smoke, smoked uh, pouch. If they ever make the perfume that smells like this, you'll know when Blanche is coming down the street, she'll smell like a, a piece of rawhide. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and uh, so those th those things were, um, you know, quite handy. Where even the the little little people, you know, the children would have their own little pouches for for whatever they needed. Um, uh, if uh, especially in the summertime, um, being out on the 
on the flat lands where there's no uh, available place to take a, a, a quick bath, a quick uh, shower, whatever, they would carry their uh, personal hygiene uh, bag that, with a root like this. And uh, they, this was, uh, I call it the soap root. You scrape a little bit of it off on your little um, um, rock dish, stone dish, and then you use those uh, flakes for your shampoo, your body wash. So again, folks, um, my ancestors had the three-in-one that we have today for hair, shampoo, and body wash. Is it three-in-one? Yeah. Hair conditioner, hair shampoo, and, and body wash. So my ancestors knew what the Dickens they were talking about back then. Uh, boy, I'm not kidding you. When, they, when I talk about them uh, living off the land, they did. They lived off the land. And again, going back to the little pouches, this would be carried on, around in the summertime. It's not very frequent that uh, you take a dive in the river in the winter months, but you could uh, do your uh, bodily cleansing, whatnot, in the teepee. But in the summertime, this was a, a, another pouch that would be tied onto the belts of both male and female. Um, the male uh, males of uh, uh, with their belts holding up their sheaths for their knife, their obsidian knife, uh, their flint napping tools, their uh, personal hygienic uh, uh, little pouch. And the ladies would have their sewing kit, their personal hy hygienic. Uh, and some of uh, the elders would have their uh, own um, medicine, little medicine bag with them where they would uh, probably have a uh, uh, some sage and maybe some uh, mint and uh, a root or two that they would use like for uh, to take care of sore throats, stomach aches. These little pockets, little pouches uh, f uh, to the big, huge uh, buffalo stomach about that big, um, maybe even bigger, uh, would be used for so many different things, just like we do today, you know. You go into your closet and uh, um, one time a, few, uh, a number of years ago they had these, I call them uh, decorative boxes. They, they come in small to huge and they're really pretty. And I'd bought in two sets of, that, of those and uh, uh, when I go into my storage area and it's like Christmas all over again for me because I open one and, oh, yeah, this is where I put this. In the days of old, that, that's exactly what those folks did, just like we do today. So pockets and uh, pouches and suitcases, uh, purses and wallets, they were in effect in use um, since time began for my, my ancestors. Uh, just the ways of making them, uh, the uses that they um, uh, they had for my my people, and for what we have today. Uh, I often think this thought: if I could, I would take somebody from way back then, from my people, bring them in into my world, and t show them all these. Uh, similar things. Take somebody from here and take them back and have the the, the, the similarities uh, shown to them too. Boy, that would be a trip and a half. Thank you, folks.